Hi, it's KCCK's Culture Crawl. I'm Dennis Green, and my guests today are Nancy Andreessen and Jennifer Vick from the upcoming Tournament of Drums in Cedar Rapids. Ladies, welcome. Hello. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks for having us. Yeah, I can't you. believe it's been three years since we did this last. Yes, a lot of things a lot of things came back in 2021, but not this. No, the Drum Corps International season was, was canceled completely in 2020 because of the pandemic. And then last year they had a abbreviated shortened season. So we didn't have a show because they didn't do the full circuit of shows. But we're back this year, so we're Yay. very happy about that. So uh, coming up on the 5th of August... Correct. And I, I would imagine that in Cedar Rapids, which has a rich drum corps history, a lot of people are familiar with, you know, the difference between a drum corps and a marching band. Uh, uh, but for those who aren't, who wants to who wants to talk about drum corps and drum corps culture? Yeah. For like an hour and a half. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> well, I can I can say a few things. Um, you know, I always kind of think of it as kind of marching band on steroids. It's kind of like that level of difficulty, the amount of time that students take you know it's it's outside of the traditional school setting so these are all uh drum corps drum and bugle corps from around the country around the world you know that uh, are nonprofits where students join that drum corps they uh you know practice throughout the whole summer uh, even starting before summer they're starting practicing their shows and then they're traveling, sleeping on gymnasium floors and local schools. And, you know, really it's the intensity and the show length. Is that different also? I wonder uh, about. It's about, I think it's a little bit longer, but about the same. But okay. yeah, I would say the difference would be just the level of difficulty. So, you know, the brass um, horn playing, you know, the music that they're playing is really difficult. The drumming is really you know, next level and very precise. And then the color guard things that they do with the flags and the rifles and the sabers and other props. I mean, visually, it's just pretty stunning to watch a lot of these shows. And both Nancy and I did this as young people and uh, a few in the, years ago yeah because <laughs> the because 80s. there was there was a drum corps in cedar rapids for yes. many many years and competed at uh right up there with the biggies yeah yes their drum corps has a really long history in cedar rapids starting in 1928 and then through 2001 was when the last active core was you know was going but yeah a lot of a lot of people have participated a lot of parents have helped a lot of staff members have come in and taught it's been yeah, quite a tradition here. Which leads us to another thing you wanted to talk about in addition to your event, but there's now a book about drum corps in Cedar Rapids. Right. I don't know if you yeah. know what about. Yeah. So Marking Time, the History of Drum Corps in Cedar Rapids, Iowa, uh, has been published. It's a 100-page hardbound book. Uh, authored by a local uh, Cindy Haddish um, and with around 200 photographs, uh, interviews being done by over 50 people who were uh, drum corps, you know, directors, uh, families, yeah, people members, who marched. volunteers. Yeah. yeah. And going back, like she interviewed a lot of people like where that were some in in some of the very first drum corps, you know, and went to competitions like in 1939 at the World's Fair and that kind yeah. of thing. So yeah. and then all the way up through the modern era, I guess yeah. you say. Yeah. So, yeah, it's a pretty comprehensive book. It's really, yeah. really nice. Did it's, you did you find your own pic pictures of you performing in the book? Did either of you make it in there? Um, I think I made it in there because Cindy put a picture of me and her in there because we marched <laughs> together in the color guard. But, but yeah. yeah, there's there's a quite a yeah, yeah there's a ton of history in there. It's a really great book. What's yeah. what's the stand? I mentioned the World's Fair. Any other and we don't spoil the whole book, but any other standout anecdotes or events that you remember? Maybe even one that you didn't know about uh, when until you until Cindy's research turned it up. I'm trying to think of something. Well, I, mean, I I know that didn't uh, the uh, Slayton Thompson his oh yes they marched, the Grant Wood Corps yes yeah. they yeah. marched in a couple of inauguration parades. right yeah, yes. that's really yeah. cool so that's in there and then just a lot of stories I think that as you read it um, especially because it dates back and again Cindy interviewed individuals who are in their 80s you know in early 90s, 90s think, so yeah. you know <laughs> and uh and you know they're telling uh you know a lot of stories about uh things that i think a lot of us remember um 
you know, about the the culture of drum corps in Cedar Rapids also and thinking about our time when, with Emerald Knights, but the Moose Girls and the the other yeah. drum corps. Um, Cadets, uh, there's a bunch yeah, of them, yeah. Yeah, just the, the different, you know, drum corps that existed. So, and it's just, you know, it's just, it's just always been such a great activity for young people. It builds tremendous character discipline. Uh, it's just amazing to go watch these young people age 14 to 21, you know, spend, you know, this uh, time and energy and, you know, how hard they work. And if you go to watch, which will have some drum corps here on August 4th, the day before the show, they'll be staying at like Wilson Middle School, LaSalle. Uh, a lot of people in the neighborhood, I always, you know, people will say, oh, yeah, I've heard them playing or practicing. And, you know, in between this real, you know, high level intensity drills that they're, you know, playing their instruments, marching, you know, forming all these different, you know, formations yeah that are amazing and then yeah. when their break time they like get some water and then they run laps and they're doing like sit up. i mean they're just they're yeah. uh you know they're athletes it's yes. a sport they're it is a they sport. are athletes and yes musicians. i was in the best shape of my life when i did, did drum, drum corps and also i remember when i left it i thought if i can do drum corps i can do anything because you know it you develop mental toughness as well because there's all kinds of you know things you have to push yourself through because you got these Mm-hmm. long days of rehearsal it's hot you know you're pushing yourself mentally and physically yeah and you're bonded with the people that you marched with forever so yeah yeah, yeah. Well, here we are, yeah, here we are. <laughs> x number of years later yeah so uh august 5th friday kingston stadium uh i guess the big uh thing you we want to talk about is who's coming because you do yes. bring in some of the top yep. drum corps from the entire world yeah uh, make this stop on their tour yep and we do we have the vanguard cadets from santa clara california and they are currently running in first place for open class right now so that's a that'll be a, a great um addition at a, to our show and then we have uh the battalion from salt lake city um laced and tour from quebec so we have a canadian corps uh, River City Rhythm from Minnesota, The Guardians from Texas, um, Gold from San Diego, and then the Colt Cadets from Dubuque, who are also the, also the co-host of our show. Well, it's yeah, great lineup. Yeah, it's it's going to be great. Yeah. Uh, and so then, so is there a is there then a competition at the end of the season? You said there, you know, the one core was running. Yes. It was running first place. How does that? Uh, yeah. Is it- so our show is on the Friday, and then. There's a championship week in Indianapolis that starts that Monday. Oh, wow. <laughs> so, yeah. So this, this, is is like a final, last... this is the final tune-up, the dress yes, rehearsal exactly. for the final competition. And our competition actually determines, like, how the cores go on, like, their, the lineup. Oh, who gets to go last, yes, really, exactly. is what we're talking about. Exactly. <laughs> Yeah, so yeah, it starts and it's all in Indianapolis yeah, that following yeah. week. Yeah. It's the Tournament of Drums, uh, Friday, August 5th, Kingston Stadium in Cedar Rapids. Come celebrate the history of drum corps uh, in Cedar Rapids and, of course, the uh, the current drum corps that's, that continues to happen all over the country and all over the world. How do people get tickets? So you can get tickets uh, at Hills Bank and West Music, uh, any of the locations. They all have tickets. Uh, the ticket price at the door is $20, uh, but if you buy them beforehand at Hills or at uh, West Music, they're $17. Uh, individuals five and under are free Um, and you can also go to tournamentedrums.com and you can purchase though there's a link to purchase those tickets online Um, and I think that's up until well I think that might be that might be past now (laughs) so go to hills or (laughs) or cut the night of the show the gates will open at 5 30 yeah gates will open at 5 30 and And I assume copies of the book will also be available that night Mm -hmm. they will and And can you order that online too yep also at tournamentadrums.com okay yeah you can find everything there and and hills bank and west music have been you know wonderful partners of ours some from the very beginning 2015 when we brought the tournament of drums back uh to cedar rapids because i think the last tournament of drums before that was in 
2006 or something. 2006, like, yeah. So, um, but we also have, you know, Transamerica, Co College, Red Cedar Advisory. These are, you know, great partners of ours that sponsor the event. And we're just so, so excited, you know, for the support we receive in the community. Tournament, tournament of Drums, Friday, August 5th at Kingston Stadium. Again, tournamentofdrums.com mm-hmm. for more information or to order the book, Marking Time. Well, right. Uh, right. it's so great to have uh, to have Drum Corps back in Cedar yes. Rapids, uh, not only after the long layoff after the Emerald Knights folded, but also past the COVID yes. layoff. It's great yes. to have this. Great to have this continuing. We're excited. Yep. Thanks Thank for, you. Thanks for being here. Yeah, thanks, thanks. for having us. You can hear the Culture Crawl live on the radio many weekdays at 1020 or download the podcast, watch or listen on your own schedule at kcck.org slash culture or however you get your podcasts. I'm Dennis Green, and I'll talk to you later.